Here's the deal, I've been granted access to one of the most exclusive clubs in the world. Let me tell you more. You see, the other day I was sitting at home just minding my own business when I got this ping from my computer to signify that an email had arrived. And it wasn't just any kind of email, it was an email which granted me exclusive access to one of the most pristine clubs in the entire world, Fiverr Select. Okay, a lot of you probably got clickbaited right there, and to that I say, tough luck. But, in all honesty, I have actually been admitted to Fiverr Select, which actually is Fiverr's premium program for the people who have spent more than X number of dollars in a given month, or over half a year, for example. And apparently, I reached that level. And let me tell you, becoming part of this club has not been free. I will tell you what is completely free though, and that's subscribing to this channel and leaving a like on this video. It helps me out a lot, motivates me, bumps my videos to the top of the algorithm, so if you haven't already, do it now. But being able to say I'm a Fiverr Select member is kind of on par with saying I have an American Express black card. I am a member of the Illuminati. I end up at the VIP in Core Manhattan every single night. It's kind of on that same level, you know. But in all seriousness, this gives me some pretty good benefits though. For example, I get one-to-one -one customer service when I need it. I get my own customer success manager. How's that for a fancy word? Access to different kind of educational courses that I can take in order to improve my Fiverr buying experience. And on top of that, I get promotions, discounts, all kinds of good stuff. So yeah, I don't, I don't know if this is anything to be proud of. It made me quite happy though, and I just thought this could be a fun video, you know? It's nothing fantastic, but it's made me pretty proud, you know? I get that little nice badge on my Fiverr profile now as well. Speaking of Fiverr, I thought I would take the moment to to show you some Fiverr interactions which kind of made me happy, you know, so let's hop on over to that. Fiverr is a fantastic website though, it's helped me so much, it's where I've gotten all of my different authors and all of my different voice actors, that's where I found them to begin with, and I've done all of my work through Fiverr, and I've had two really good interactions in the past, and I thought I'll show you one, one of the deliveries, and then two, I'll show you these nice interactions, because they're kind of fun. So let's hop on over to Fiverr. First of all, we have this lovely woman over here. She's done a lot of really good voiceovers for me. Q1 as an example. The real princess. There was once a prince who wished to marry a princess. She said this when she delivered the order. Thank you again for your order. Your delivery is enclosed. If there's any problems, please let me know. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Always good customer service, you know. And then a little PS at the bottom. My son loved listening to these stories as I read them and wants to do some of these same activities from the Olympics one and the history one. I thought I would share. That made me really happy for some reason because that's kind of like user experience, you know. That's some one potential user who really liked the stories that we're putting out and it really shows me that one, it makes people happy, which is fantastic, and two, people might actually like it, you know? It's kind of, kind of wild to think about. But then I messaged this lovely lady back. By the way, if you need any voice acting uh, gigs, hit her up, she's fantastic. Uh, but then let's go over to the chat function. And I said, would your son like to be part of my beta test? And they agreed to. So this will be really nice. In the future, she will be part of the beta test and her son will, will be one of the first people to test the app. And if I have the ability to, I'll definitely give them like a lifetime kind of membership as well. Then we have this guy. This guy was really not as, it really didn't have the voice I expected him to. He has this kind of like macho, like he says here, macho alpha male kind of voice. Uh, so I was like, wow, that could really work for some stories actually. So I hit him up, asked him, are you willing to do children's stories? And he said, sure, why not? I'm willing to try anything. And then, yeah, he was like, he kind of lowballed himself, my guy. He said that a 10,000 word would be $50. And then he said, I thought I had raised my price $10 per thousand words. Technology, hard sometimes, you know. Uh, but he lowballed himself. $50 for 10,000 words, that's way too cheap. Although, like, you know, I'm kind of on a budget and I'm hitting up people who don't really have that many reviews because they're typically cheaper. I thought that was a bit of a low ball, so that's why I was like, okay, $140, kind of, you know, not too expensive either, but definitely within my budget, and for the work he did, it was definitely worth it. So then, on the order that he delivered, I he said, uh, how are you gonna be using these stories, by the way? And then I said, I'm actually using this as a hobby app project that I'm making, I'm documenting it all here, actually. And then I shared my YouTube channel, 
and then he said, I checked out your YouTube channel, pretty interesting idea, I wish you success with your ventures. Thanks, my guy. And then, I expected you to be an older man, your English is very good. <laughs> First of all, why does my English not need to be good because I'm not an older man? Second of all, I look like a kid in my profile picture, so I'm not sure why he expected me to be an older man, I'm not sure what he based that upon, but... Uh, Oh well, uh, he delivered a fantastic order anyway, and I think now we're actually gonna sample one of these sagas which he read out. Let's take the... he read one which is really good. It was called uh, Time Travel, or Traveling in Time for, for some reason. And he played a scientist essentially, and it was so good. I think this saga is about 7 minutes long, so if you don't wanna listen to it, skip 7 minutes ahead. Otherwise, we're gonna take 7 minutes and we're gonna listen to one of these stories and see what the final product is typically like. Hello. My name is Sian, and I'm a scientist, and I would love to talk to you about my most recent invention. I created a time machine that can take you back to the past. I have even tried it on myself. Do you want to know what happened? Okay, I'll tell you. This is the year 2999. When I created the time machine, I wanted to try it on myself. So I put on my time suit and got into the machine. I wanted to go back to the past. So I commanded the machine to go back 999 years. The machine accepted my command and took me back to the year 2000. I emerged from the time capsule. I had no idea what people looked like back then or what their culture was like. I saw everything was filled with green things. Could these be trees? I was astonished to see trees for the first time. We do not have a single tree in our present world. We live with artificial oxygen, eat food capsules, and use bots for everything. But that world was different. It was beautiful. I could sense that I was standing in the middle of a jungle, so I changed my clothes to match the dress style of the time. I passed through the jungle and came to a street. Everything was different and weird. There were no air cars, no robots, no thousand-story skyscrapers. People were walking. I've never seen so many people walking. I got tired of walking myself, so I decided to sit down and rest. I saw a shop with a sign that said, Café. I remember reading an old book where that word was used. People back then used to go to such shops to drink hot and cold beverages. I have never tried any food. We live on nutrition pills, so I was curious to taste real food. I turned on the invisible mode of my machine so that no one would see it. I went inside the cafe. Lots of people were sitting there, talking, drinking, laughing. I went to the counter and thought, I can't show anyone that I don't know how to order. I need to act normal, so I asked, can I get something to drink? The cashier gave me a long list of drinks. I was so confused that I randomly chose a beverage called tea. I didn't know what tea was or what it tastes like. After a few minutes, the boy handed me a cup of hot tea. I was so excited to try real food for the first time. I watched others, how they were eating and drinking. I took a sip of the tea. It was delicious. I've never had anything tastier than that before. I slowly took another sip, savoring it. But when it was time to pay, a problem arose. I completely forgot to study about the currencies of this time. In the present world, we use only e-wallets, so I had no money to pay for the tea. I said to the cashier, I'm sorry, but I don't have any money with me. The boy looked upset. He said, well, you have to pay. You can't leave without first paying, sir. I was scared. I had no idea what to do. Then someone came over and said, What's going on here? The cashier said, He bought a tea, but he doesn't have any money to pay for it. The man asked, How much was the tea? Ninety-nine cents, said the boy. 
Then he took out his wallet and paid for my tea. I was surprised to see that. He didn't even know me, but he paid for my drink. I said, thank you very much. I really had no idea how to pay. Thanks a lot. He smiled and said, no problem. By the way, my name is Max. What's yours? My name is Sian. Max said, Sian? Well, that's an unusual name. I've never heard it before. I chuckled. Max asked, Where are you from, Sian? When he asked me that, I panicked. I didn't know what to say. I was scared that if I told him the truth, he would tell everyone. Max could see me turning pale. He said, What's the matter? Are you okay? I thought that Max was a good person, so I trusted that he would not tell my story to anyone. I said to him, Can you keep a secret? Promise me you won't tell anyone. Max said, I promise. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. I whispered in his ear, I'm a time traveler. I have come from the future. I'm a scientist. Max was so astonished that his eyeballs almost popped out of his head. He said, Really? Are you really from the future? I simply nodded. He said, Wow, that's so cool. You're from the future. I said, Yes, but please don't tell anyone. Max patted my shoulder and said, Don't worry, Sion. Your secret is safe with me. But may I ask you a few questions? I'm curious about the future and time machines. We sat down at a table and Max ordered some food. He wanted me to taste everything. He asked me a lot of questions about my time machine and my work. I answered all of them. I also asked him a lot of questions about his world, which he thoroughly explained. I got to know a lot about the people, nature, food, and culture of the time. I really wished I could stay there forever, but I had to go back. Believe me, that world was much better than this one. They had beautiful nature, trees, hills, rivers, animals, muddy roads, humans, lots of humans. They did not have any artificial food or oxygen. Max was lucky that he got to live there. After talking a while, I looked at my timer. I had to go back soon. I said to Max, My timer is telling me I have to leave now. Max said, I wish you could stay here. I will miss you, my friend. I know we will never meet again, but I'm glad I met you. Do remember me in the future. I felt really bad to have to leave. But what has been decided must be. I got into my time machine and waved goodbye to Max. He waved back, and I came back to the present. That was one of the most beautiful experiences I've ever had. It's pretty damn good if you ask me. I love the tone because, you know, he has this like deep old man kind of American voice, which is fantastic for reading stories. And he does it in such a good way, too. He's not really used to reading kids' stories, but he did it so well anyway. I will leave his link and the ladies' link down below in case you need any voice actors or anything like that because they've been fantastic and just these interactions made me happy in general. That's it for today's video. I hope you liked the sample story and I hope you liked this kind of, you know, my Fiverr clickbait kind of deal. Things are really progressing well with the app and I'm really happy with the space we're in. Hopefully within the next week or two, we're gonna be able to beta test the app and then we're gonna be able to make a final launch within a month or two or something like that. Without further ado, thank Thank you so much for watching the video please leave a like if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe so you can follow along on this journey and i'll see you in the next one